Anyone here ever hear a critical voice? Yeah. Ever? <laughs> Anyone not ever hear a critical voice? Because I want to meet you. <laughs> we all have a critical voice that shows up. Yeah. What, do think, what sort of things does the critical voice say? Your, your critical voice, what does it say? Give me some. The odds are against you. The odds <laughs> are against you. Wow, that's a really like, like putting a flag in the ground, isn't it? <laughs> okay. That's hard to work with. What else? What You're a heck? dreamer. You're a dreamer. Missed your window. Oh, you missed your window. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. In LA. What about after auditions? What, what does the critical voice say after auditions? You should have did it this way. Uh -huh. yeah. you have It'll go over the lines again with you, right? You It'll say, yeah. this is how you should have done yeah. it, yeah. right? You should have worn that other Great shirt. idea. So how do those words make you feel? Horrible. Down. Bad, down, yeah, Just hearing horrible. from everybody else. I, I heard my own stuff and went, <laughs> Yeah. So you yeah. Were, Do those things, those feelings make you do any better? No. no. It just it makes just you go down. Nice. Or it makes you more desperate. It makes you push harder. And when you push harder out of desperation, it's too much. then it's too much. It's still out of Okay. So sometimes, you know, there are, there are voices that can, ha can be strong and they can kind of push us. They're a little different than the critical voice, aren't they? Because they're not slamming us. They're saying, go on, you can do this. Get up off your butt and do it. And those are things that actually create something, right? So we can be strong with ourselves, but it's different than the critical voice. Just literally, before you go into your audition, say, hey, buddy, I know you're here. Why don't you sit outside in the waiting room while I go in there and hang out? If you want to meet me out afterwards, we can, but I got, you, I got you. I know your number, and I know you're going to be out here. But just so that there's a consciousness. You know, you've already separated yourself from it. Because if it's just in your own head, you think it's your voice. And it's not. It's not your voice. It's someone else's voice. Okay? So separating yourself from it like that actually can be quite helpful because then you've already been, become conscious, and consciousness is not fear. It's love. And when we come from a place of love, boy, can we be creative. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And do it physically rather than here. Because if we think about it, we can't think our way out of fear. We have to do something physical. And we have to just make a gesture. Or we say, okay, I'm going to talk to you now and I'm going to send you outside the room. And then you replace it. That's the thing is replacing it, is learning what we want to say instead. Getting those voices. Because when, when we get those voices going and they become bigger and bigger, then that just naturally diminishes. We're not having a war with our critical voice then. We don't want to go to war with it. We just want to replace it. We want to play with it. We want to say bye-bye and be light about it, but firm. In control. In control and replace it. <laughs>